back for another round of high-stakes excitement, eh? Splendid! And just in time for a momentous announcement as well. You've finally replaced the urinal cakes. Yes, and we've renewed our liquor license. All right! Libations may be purchased with the inventory tokens you've acquired. Be warned that the inventory will not be held responsible for the deleterious effects that alcoholic spirits may have on your gameplay. Della what? And with that disclaimer out of the way, on with the tournament! I assume that everyone has brought the requisite $20,000 buy-in for tonight's tournament. Didn't the buy-in used to be $10,000? It was, but the owner theorized that upping the stakes would bring in a better class of competitors. Okay, that explains how you snagged a bunch of multimedia megastars like yours truly. But what about Captain Lamo over there? It's only a theory. It's a mathematical certainty that 80% of you are going to lose tonight. And 100% of you will eventually die. That is fun, don't you think? Yeah. Call. I call. I'm... <coughs> Checking! Jeez, where to help a choking robot there, guys? Check. Checking! Checko. Yeah, I'll bet. This hand has been brought to you by the letters W, T, and F. Nope. Folding suits you. Do more of it. Rock steals the pot. I could do this all night. Are you sure it was a good idea to bring the bunny? I think he's throwing you off your game. Good idea or not, I'm keeping my eye on Max until this Chosen One crisis blows over. Chosen One? Last night Max and I were mopping up some trouble at the St. Swithin stance over at William Henry Harrison High. Oh, there was pig's blood everywhere! All of a sudden, the Honor Society went into a trance and began a suspiciously well-choreographed musical number. They're possessed by Rogers and Hammerstein. Get it? I've seen a few shows. Actually, it had more of a Sondheim feel. At the climax of the chorus, they all pointed at us and started chanting about the Chosen One. <laughs> you think Max is the Chosen One? Max is always the Chosen One. If I had a dollar for every time Max has been the focal figure of an apocalyptic doomsday cult, internet virus, or ancient prophecy, I wouldn't be gambling away my jerky money tonight. My face is a universal symbol of death and destruction! So I'm keeping my eye on him until we can figure out where this is going. I'm in. I call. I'll check. Check. If this hand were any more exciting, I'd fall into a coma. Check? I'll check that. I don't know. I, uh... All right. Enough of these weak-ass bets. Your words are like those of a poet laureate being clubbed to death with a tire iron. And I'm out. I'll fold. I know something you don't know.
Not about this hand. Just general. <laughs> I'm gonna bet. Ah! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> yeah! The player has a pair of nines. Brock Samson has two pair. Mr. Samson wins the pot. Hey, if this keeps up, I may be home in time for Downton. I hate to be that guy, but your chainsaw's leaking on my pants. Sorry about that, Marmaduke. I just like to be prepared. For what? An attack of the Triffids? Triffids, Deadites, <laughs> Vampires, Nightmare Demons, or maybe just your everyday killer robot. Chainsaws. Like those would work. Let's see if we can chase out the posers. Not this time! Nope. I fall. Not exactly projecting a lot of strength there, kid. Uh, uh. I'll bet. Hmm. Rock steals the pot. I could do this all night. Call. I call. Call. I think I'll call. <laughs> I'll check. Check. I bet. Nah. -uh. I kind of thought there'd be one of those walking dead guys at the table tonight. Oh, uh, you know how it is with video game characters. Give them a little bit of fame and it all goes to their heads. Tell me about it. Is that a good idea? Because honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing. Call. Ah. Uh, check. Let's see if I can suck you in with a bet that doesn't trigger your primitive flight reflex. Oh, wait, did I say that out loud? I call. <laughs> Check. Betting. Not this time. The little robot has two pair. And you have two pair. Claptrap wins with the higher pairs. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. The player has busted out and must leave the table before everyone starts laughing. Better luck next time, kid. Tonight's tournaments have a $20,000 buy-in. I'll fold. Call. Fold. Thank you.
Check. Way to go out on a limb there, Captain Courageous. Call. Wait a minute, this is getting complicated. I raise. I don't want to alarm you, but I think you're having a psychotic break. Old. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, raise. Nice. Way to go out on a limb there, Captain Courageous. You think you've got the cards to take down the king? Well, here's your chance, Mr. Fancy Pants. Really? Trying to read my face for tells, huh? Well, good luck with that. I've taken so many blows to the head that the muscles in my face twitch for no damn reason at all. See? Ah, hell. Great day in the morning. Oh, nice. The player has two pair. And Mr. Williams has a pair of kings. The player wins. Ash has been eliminated from the tournament. You guys are all ringers, aren't you? I want to see what happens when these cards get together with their royal buddies. Call. You know, most of the poker games I'm invited to turn out to be elaborate death. You worry too much, Brock. Max and I have been coming here for years without even a hint of a death trap. Unless you count the killer mini tacos. Hello. I don't know, this whole place just feels weird. Weird is in the eye of the beholder. Would you like me to reprogram your optic nerves to be less paranoid? You see what I'm talking about? That there is grade A weird. That's just weird. Hmm. Yeah, I'll bet. I think you should know that the Claptrap General Purpose Robot is designed to be completely immune to outrageous bluffing. I'll raise that. Oh, Sam. Think of all the hamdingers we could buy with that. <sighs> Shh, I'm thinking. Call. You know who I usually consult when I have to make a tough decision? Faster, pussycat! Kill! Kill! Let's go, Buttercup. I'm giddy with anticipation about this call. <sighs> in for a penny, in for a kilogram. Crab cakes. Mr. Trap has a pair of eights. Brock has three of a kind. The player has a straight. Sam has ten high. On the side part, the player wins the hand. And on the main part, the player wins. Well, of course you won with those cards. Even Steve could have won with those cards. And all he can say is, hey -o. Hello. Shut the f up, Steve. And people say I'm annoying. Congratulations! You have completed your first slate of bounty challenges. At the commencement of the next tournament, you will be given the opportunity to compete for a wondrous treasure. 
Congratulations on your first tournament victory! In addition to your significant financial winnings, management would like to reward you with these celebratory inventory tokens. A nice game. Any chance for a rematch? To the death?